Hey everybody, Fuzz Reviews here, welcome back to yet another LEGO Ninjago 2021 The Island Set Review. In my previous review, I did Void's, uh, Jungle Chopper bike. And so today I'm going to be doing the Jungle Dragon. Ages 8 plus, set number 71746. Piece count is 5... 506 pieces while the price range was about $50 so $49.99 so yeah uh, the box is big so it's hard for me to, to show the the, the 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 box so yeah um, but anyway let's go over the instructions which are pretty big it's the same as the box Win Lego uh, with. Oh, sorry. Win Lego with Lloyd, and advertisements for all the other sets, including this one. But I'm probably not gonna review this one because I don't think it's worth buying. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway, that's the instructions. Now let's go over the main figures. So starting with Island Lloyd here, he is basically the same from his chopper bike review. Same suit, same new headpiece with the headband, and of course his new face with all that jungle stuff. So, yeah good pieces and also he has a bone because you know he's got a bone to pick with somebody so yeah and his machete so yeah that's it on Island Lloyd alright next up we have here is Island Zane he is pretty cool he has his hair piece from the epic battle set he also has his quiver here, and of course his bow, and he has a metal arm here as well. And he has one facial expression, because on the back he has no second facial expression. So yeah, that is it on Island Zane. Uh, next is, uh, I forget what this dude's name is hold on Polark yeah he's a pretty weird name yes he's too weird dagger like weapons right here and he's two headed and how this is connected is through a ninja hood piece which is pretty weird but uh yeah so anyway that's about it for Polark. And finally we have here is a, hold on, who is this? He's basically a thunder keeper, but here's the best thing about this guy, is for one, his mask, which is kind of like a tiki mask, like a Maori mask of some kind, but it's pre or Hawaiian, which is pretty cool, I really like this. And then of course he just has the normal normal island keeper, thunder keeper. And then he has a, a white spear and of course the storm amulet. Which who knows, it might not be the actual storm amulet, but it might be a fake amulet the entire time. So yeah. Anyway, that's it on the thunder keeper. And all of the minifigures. So let's go over, before we go over the, the, the jungle dragon, let's go over this little uh, glider thing that Zane has, which is pretty cool. It has two stud shooters. He has a little flag here, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty interesting. It's like, it's like a hover bike of some kind. And then you just basically, as it shows on the box, put them on here. And then, of course... 
shoot him down, shoot one of the guys down, but good thing, you get extra stud shooters for that, so you won't lose any, so yeah, that's basically it on this little glider here, and now, it's time for the main, oof, the main attraction, the, oh my god, the jungle dragon, so let me bring him out here, in the show he is named Zippy, because he's like a, a an electric island dragon, pretty cool. It's got a chain right there, and the color scheme, which I do like, it is like turquoise, which I really like. Turquoise and gold. The problem I have with this set is the stickers. There's just so many stickers when you're, when you're, when you're building this, especially like up here for the most part, and then, and then the rest is just fine. There were a few times where like, I where I was building this, I was missing one of these triangular pieces, which kind of <laughs> sucks. But anyway, uh, tail can move like that, and basically, we can take Lloyd, and we can basically put him on this little thing here, and of course, it goes. Whoosh. And then, boom. And, I guess with that, oh yeah, the headpiece, it's, it's a lot like, just like the Overlord Dragon has two new head molds, one for the jaw, one for the upper headpiece. This is all printed, so you don't need like a sticker required, although you do need a sticker for the top here also. I also forgot to mention, it has horns. I like the use of the CCBS claw as like a representation of the of his tongue, which is kind of funny. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyway. Um, and we also do get some extra pieces as well, so, yeah. Um, anyway, that is a good way to end this review here and this review here do I recommend this set? yes even oh. even if you get uh, it com comes with uh, two exclu somewhat exclusive figures that come and probably this might be I don't even know if this is the only set that has Zane on it but I do know that from the other one you can get the other um, once we all the other ninja with those boat ones that I mentioned that I've shown before. But anyway, um, yeah. But the problem is, like this says, like not worth this, not worth the fifty dollars. But yeah. Um, I guess join me next time as I do the Keeper's Village, which might be my final island review. So, yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a like. If you liked it a lot, also subscribing helps too. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can stay notified whenever I post a new video. And help me re reach my goal up to 900 subscribers before 2021 ends. So, yeah. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Prepare for rise and reviews. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>